Good morning, all. Am I audible to everyone? Yes, yes, you are audible. Okay, okay. My, uh, as you know, uh, hell or hell, life of tribes during COVID period in Kerala. That is the title of my paper. The question on uh, on the headline will be asked of us by the tribe again and again. Health, education. livelihood strategies or hell naragamano yes the tribes of course need better health education and livelihood but the covid period gave them something else more akin to hell this is not limited to kerala uh, or even india or even uh, any part of the world across the world marginalized communities um <clears throat> tribes and many other forest dwellers face the most direct impact of this pandemic they were put into great hardship being closed off from all present spaces the tribe had to face more problems than the rest of the people in a structure which needed daily wages or daily <clears throat> for a, a foraging for survival the poverty ensured that there were no financial fallback option the lockdown created the crisis this a uh, uh, paper or this talk examine how the covid 19 pandemic affected the tribes of kerala uh, what became uh, of their health education and livelihood it also touches upon some activities undertaken and how these impacted the uh, tribal life positively or negatively and i am going to give you a general uh, everyone know the general uh, scenario and the general um, tribal situation in kerala uh, anyway it's giving you a small uh, intro regarding that the tribal diversity of kerala comprises 35 tribal uh, communities and seven uh, not included in the uh, schedule list uh, in seven different tribal belts There are four lakh eighty four thousand eight three nine persons in one four four nine four four families residing um, in six eight eight one settlement. The tribal population is one point four five of the total state population, and sixty one thousand eight ninety persons above sixty years in age. or who are bedridden some communities like kartanaika cholanaika kada koraga are engaged in collection of forest produce or hunting while some other communities like kurumba muduva engaged in shifting cultivation and uh, um, the kurichi and mulukurma communities have settled agricultures and the betakurma community is an artisan community the ravla paniya and tachinadan mopan communities were once the slave community or bonded labor community um, and um, uh, uh, later period on 70s uh, up to 1970s they they were uh, considered as uh, they were turned into bonded uh, laborers the arunadan mahamalasar Mm. Uh, mm. <coughs> sorry the community stays in diverse settings like uh, even the naluketta can you imagine a tribe living with uh, living in a naluketta with the um that uh, tekkini vadakini padinyatini kelkini like that yes kurichia is that tribe and they are living in naluketta mitta and uh, semi nomadic to uh, semi nomadic type tribes like uh, arunadan mahamalasar and uh, uh, those communities like mulukurma with pakka mud house and uh, those communities with the uh, dwelling made of bamboo and mud padinaikan malayan uh, malapulayan and even some tribes are living this era in caves that is cholanaike if one examines the social situation of tribes in kerala it will be clear that there is no single identity or monolithic identity the tribes of kerala itself stratified into several level i think dr manju 
Nair uh, described something about this uh, stratification inside uh, the um, community from Malayarin, uh, which has sixth generation doctors or seven to eight civil service servicing service officer and several professionals to lower level from Kurchia who maintain untouchability and serve food on the ground with respect to Paniya, Adiya, Chetis, Kurmas and others not belonging to their community uh, uh, to Cholnaikan tribe which does not yet have a single girl in plus two class. The tribes have the vast diversity in educational, social and financial uh, status. For this reason, the impact of pandemic was different in different tribes. While it did not affect the mainstream tribes to a great extent, those tribes which survived on daily wages from agricultural or unskilled laborer or blue, blue collar laborer are those which depended on selling the produce collected from forest were severely affected. Uh, this paper uh, examines this differential impact. As the researcher, um, I'm an officer, uh, uh, one of the officer of Tribal Research Institute of Kerala. Um, I could uh, get an opportunity to analyze uh, a thing as an officer and a, and a researcher and a person um and uh, um get a, also get an opportunity to analyze all these things officially too the problems steps taken by the government ngos and uh, interventions and policies have um <clears throat> have all been generally examined with uh, reference to health uh, education and lively uh, courses and i um, the story of a magnificent entrepreneurship model during the pandemic period uh, is also outlined. Um, there, were, the, there was every possibility for the pandemic to spread more among tribal communities as compared to the other communities. Dr. Shaijimon mentioned that. The main reason is communal living practiced by the tribe. Traditional uh, communal living pattern and the colony uh, hamlet kind of dwelling situated close together made disease spread easy dining together is a common habit we know better kurba tribe and pania tribe they will dine only uh, uh, together single dining is uh, uh, not allowed and dancing and getting together in evening urali tribe uladan tribe uh, gathering for worship daily basis uh, they are gathering for the worship like uh, kurumba muduga irula to pray the malishwaran and all all were potential sources of covid <clears throat> in tribes which had dormitories we know dormitory system uh, among the tribes chavadi for mudwans youngs and uh, makkap Makkapere for the uh, Malakuruman and the elderly dormitory like Ambala of Betakurba, women uh, women's uh, dormitory uh, during menstrual period or uh, some other time, Pallapura of Mudwan would get together and spend the night together. All these would result in increased spread. Tribal health and COVID. Although there have been continuous effort from the side of government, tribes have been facing several challenges over time. Infectious diseases and generic disease, genetic diseases are prevalent among tribes. In the uh, Wayanad belt, all tribes except Kurichia are vulnerable to sickle cell anemia. We know the fact. Thalassemia is also uh, widespread in all over the Nilgiri belt, Nilgiri tribal belt, especially in Vainar area. All tribes in Nilagiri belt are susceptible to these diseases and also have the problem of access to treatment. With the banning of hunting, they also suffer from malnutrition. Among the women of Betakurba, Cholanaikar, anemia, weakness, and diseases have resulted in the early advent of old age 
even the uh, contrast even the contraceptive uh, measures they are using uh, like um, nedwan kelang or some uh, rare um, kind of uh, tubers uh, and rare kinds of nuts which will also um, affect the um, hormonal um, hormonal uh, balancing of the ladies and this this also lead to an early age old age uh, or, 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 or oldening uh, uh, early advent of old age other problems are traditional destruct of modern medical systems and negative attitude towards vaccines they do not have access to clean drinking water and hygienic toilet uh, for the tribes avaru parayunathu olukku vellathil alukkilla na olukku vellathil alukkilla that is the belief uh, so they are using uh, drinking water they they trust the water uh, from the uh, stream uh, from the river and all it is in the situation that the pandemic had set in um, infecting entire colonies from a single individual due to the pre existing conditions and diseases such as malnutrition sickle cell anemia uh, leading to a uh, death it was very difficult to create awareness about covid 19 protocols such as using masks hand washing and use of sanitizer among the population having poor knowledge of basic health matters in addition they did not have the resources like a sanitizer soap and antiseptic if we desired to use that we we need to purchase all those things they are not able to purchase uh, such kinds of uh, things so i think the sc department katars the health and family department forest and wildlife department and the central ministry ministry of tribal affairs joined hands to to this end of the covid care tribal action plan was first conceptualized that is the milestone the covid care tribal health action plan um it was it is pr- uh, prepared by the health and family welfare department uh, with the support of other department and they controlled all activities the first thing is setting structures second setting up of infrastructures pin third one is uh, in in flow surveillance fourth ensuring all preventive promotive and curative non covid care rigorous contact tracing active case finding behavior change uh, communication intersectoral coordination involvement of community leaders and community influential persons to this uh, situation mobilization of vehicles for transportation of suspects and patients ensure psychological support to the people ensuring good quality quarantine and addressing other medical needs of the people we provide a wonderful quarantine uh, setup so that many of them um, want to be the part of quarantine that, that that's a funny situation actually i'll explain it later uh, and addressing the other uh, medical needs of the people Uh, the basic infrastructure i am not going uh, thoroughly into each and every point the basic infrastructure other than um, the no- mainstream kind of covid uh, thing is check post we started check post and testing facility for tribal at every po- entry point to the tribal lsg villages and uh, covid care centers and covid care first line treatment centers we started in the tribal area and to uh, prevent mixing of tribal population with the, the people of high risk uh, then identification of bridge population uh, b- b- uh, bridge population means uh, youngsters those who uh, youngsters in the hamlet uh, <coughs> who work in the nearby towns or uh, who went the kudag for in- um, ginger cultivation and all and uh, those who visiting outside the uh, hamlet uh, people supplying essential things to the settlement and tribal coming from the other states uh, because um, the admi- for the administrative reason 
we had uh, kerala karnataka and tamil nadu but for the uh, tribal community they consider only the geographical division which is a tribal division so that uh, uh, they have uh, nothing to do with the tamil nadu or karnataka or kerala uh, they consider it as their own uh, geographical property uh, so um, but but uh, but government uh, deliberately uh, try to uh, separate those people who are coming from the outside to the hamlet and and tagged them as a bridge population and quarantine screen and uh, test a bridge population is a second uh, third step uh, the tribal health promoters we have a lot of uh, promoters and along with that we supplied uh, the government supplied health promoters and volunteers helped in quarantine suspected cases and to test them and uh, many other interesting and special activities uh, parallelly conducted which are capacity building of health staff and tribal population promoters on special uh, tribal health plan and meeting with the tribal chief ngos and opinion leaders identification and capacity building of community volunteers one volunteer per hamlet Uh, we uh, the government gave one volunteer per hamlet and the covid sentinel sur- uh, surveillance house to house campaign it happened just just uh, um, during the covid uh, during the lockdown and even just after the lockdown um, some uh, um, <clears throat> officers and officials went to house to uh, started house to house campaign tribal mobile medical unit uh, we started and uh, sensitize all the indigenous health providers on covid uh, for the tribe they, their medicinal system is entirely different they believe in other world and they thought that this new uh, uh, covid uh, they uh, some tribes termed it as poimun numbulo poimun numbulo uh, is supposed to be the um, angry of uh, their ancestral spirit or goddess mary some of them believe uh, like that so we went to the shamans we went to those persons indigenous healers uh, to sensitize them about the um, um, about the diseases so uh, um, they uh, during their shamanic uh, invoke uh, time they gave uh, uh, some instruction to the community uh, just like that so we sensitized them also distribution of reusable mask soap sanitizers and uh, to encourage their use by health education and motivation then uh, a second uh, another thing this is the general uh, kerala government's um, Uh, uh, policy um, and uh, some uh, some of the department uh, um, like st department health security activities are there i'll just mention about that uh, they the st members have fully free treatment uh, in association with the health department free treatment was also given to all medical colleges rcc malaba cancer care as per the uh, samagra health security projects 92.42 crores uh, spent uh, for um, 1 lakh 4000 people and 20.4 crores was made available uh, available from chief minister's distress relief fund immediately uh, sanitizer kiosks and hand wash counters were established in all settlements awareness programs were conducted training many um songs we created some art forms uh, just like that cartards created awareness videos in several tribal languages and spread these through whatsapp group uh, social media and many um, mediums and the work of mobile unit during covid 16 mobile units um, started suddenly another 14 units in cooperation with kerala medical services were also deployed several medical camps and awareness programs were conducted 22040 members of tribal communities were given input in 586 campaign these were successful in providing accurate information about this new disease and uh, we started uh, another thing is food support uh, program 
uh, even <clears throat> for the most of the communities uh, you know even the daily food was a problem owing to uh, cessation of all lively food uh, options and work and ban of forest produce materials are part of the daily diet such as tubers leaves and fish could not be procured because lockdown was very strict even in the interior forest area they are not supposed to go out from their hut so uh, it is uh, it is very tough for them to live without getting the ntfp uh, uh, no honey no tubers no leaves no fish uh, no uh, birds uh, like that the only option for the survival was the food kit provided by the government programs and uh, so uh, apart from the general kit uh, announced by the because this nt ntfp collection band uh, so the government gave special food support to o program uh, they started and considered special food grains provisions nutrition kit and vehicle etc um i think uh, um there is a list I, i think it is not necessary i'm not uh, going to that due to comprehensive health action plan cooperative action of the government of department and health intervention the terrible impact of pandemic could be successfully contained up to 26 uh, up to 26 uh, to 2021 3000 743 persons contacted the virus and uh, which 3413 persons have recovered the death toll is only 46 which is 1.23 of the infected population that is uh, uh, that's really a remarkable um, number only 46 uh, uh, that the that, that that persons all among uh, among the um, infected one only 46 uh, reported cases yeah thank you hello yeah maybe in 2 3 minutes sir, we'll be winding up one yeah. second sir okay okay um as everyone knows another area is education sector schools such as peripatetic schools single teacher schools bala vijnana kendras tribal nursery schools modern residential schools were closed down and the children returned to their home uh, from their hostels there are 90017 students in school of which 73434 uh, were pre matric and uh, 16583 in post matric classes when online classes commenced their education was in jeopardy most settlement did not have mobile phone access and internet connections even in the settle- settlement having internet connection there would not be gadgets such as computer or laptop or even the mobile the problem was most severe in households with 3 to 5 children because of the need for more phones to attend class in the initial days the online class system proved to be a failure in the tribal areas it was impossible for parents uh, with a limited literacy to intervene and help their children to learn their lessons and some alternative arrangements started immediately that is first thing is social study rooms in common uh, study rooms arrangements were made to install dish antennas and televisions uh, so that the students could congregate and watch lessons aided by victor stands like a uh, first bell and all facilitators were appointed to care the children while attending the class we came to know that without the help of an adult without the help of someone um they are not uh, even watching the tv or not doing any activity so uh, mm, uh, new appointments of facilitators but in some remote settlements this facility could not be established here classes were downloaded and provided to the students 
Promoters from Tribal Development Office arranged uh, to provide textbooks, notebooks, etc. Online classes were given to students earlier, uh, earlier residing in MRS and hostels. Expense for mobile recharge, DT, DTH recharge were borne by the government. Each student up to SSLC was given 3,000 rupees and I secondary students 3,450 rupees. This include a component of nutritious food as would have been given in hostel. It is difficult access areas. Uh, <clears throat> machines were constructed to enable students to um, climb to a height and access uh, range. Uh, uh, each and every tribal community had the um, modern kind of uh, um, things. So it is very easy for them to uh, create merchants and uh, um, climb height uh, in the access range. That's, that's really a uh, um, beautiful, um, see, uh, beautiful thought because um, in each and every hut got a uh, separate uh, modem exclusively for the online classroom. Some students had to climb uh, to the tree uh, and some of them climbed to the roof of their houses and or go to higher ground near their houses to access the internet. It was decided to provide remedial coaching to the students uh, who were backward educationally by MRS teachers. There were weekly calls made by the teachers to monitor the progress. Special improvement coaching, USS coaching was provided along with the regular classes. MRS teachers went across the rem remote settlement to provide downloaded um, lesson to the students. Class PTA meeting uh, were held uh, via using WhatsApp. Counseling was given to the students uh, and the printouts of lessons and worksheets were given. Special WhatsApp classroom were started for the SSLC and doubt clearing and chapter revision were conducted. With test classes were made available through the uh, WhatsApp classroom and even the um, telegram uh, classrooms. In some pl uh, places, Ministry of uh, Tribal Affairs set up, uh, set up uh, an app uh, that, uh, uh, that was being used. And uh, there are some kids uh, who are studying uh, with a CBSC uh, kind of uh, syllabus and all. So classes for um, CBSC students conducted separately through Google Meet. Classes on practical motivation and stress management was also conducted. And online centers. When the first wave subsided, online centers were started, children with minimum facilities. There are 987, 987 centers at present. Uh, this will help the student to uh, study uh, online uh, because the parents are totally illiterate. They are not even know how to operate the phone and all. And uh, for 244 students in the in remote settlement, they are not even able to um, uh, uh, fix the uh, uh, dish and in, uh, or uh, they are in the interior a remote area so 244 students totally in Kerala settlement and peripatetic educators went across to hold the uh, class uh, so, uh, apart uh, from that government's uh, um, solar panel power supply and solar panel were provided 754 televisions 8 smartphones Three taps were provided by MPs and MLS and benefactors. But uh, uh, this is all remedial measures or measures taken to uh, <coughs> taken to manage the education. But there are many hidden problems. Uh, let's uh, let's um, go through that. <coughs> Despite of all these efforts. Remote education has not been as effective as direct education. Because uh, relation, relational aspect crisis. Most children are subject to severe relational aspect crisis. Teacher-student and student-student uh, relationship is uh, 
very much important for them these are the two not worthy relationship which is very uh, that are strong among tribal uh, students these are knowledgeable other affectionate other kind of uh, relationship two level uh, it, it is happening in two level one is in the intellectual level and one is in the emotional level uh, so one is knowledgeable other and the affectionate, affectionate other relationship these bond disappeared with the online education which affected the uh, tribal children badly uh, the second thing is educational shock the present lessons have no contact with the tribal culture with no cultural relevance children with their own language were subject to mother tongue inhibit that, that that's there always but uh, in direct classroom we can manage it but through the uh, small um, mobile phone we are not able to manage uh, we are not uh, uh, able to address uh, that problem normally face to face classes would solve many of these issues but the online mode affected the children their pronunciation suffered and they had cultural shock when faced the unfamiliar subject we know the first bell shows many examples which is foreign to the tribal kids not at all familiar to them uh, technical problems such as difficulty in uploading downloading limited access of internet also affected them limited vision to a phone uh and sharing it with other all resulted major educational shock and the third serious problem is internet addiction another problem was that children became slaves to the internet because there is no parental control over the internet usage either in ermadam or in the uh, hill top or in the ground or in the roof of the house or uh, in the tree uh, just like that so uh, they got enough freedom to use the internet games apps youtube social media all were accessed without any control there was no parental supervision this that that was a very serious issue we faced even the children in third standard also uh, also uh, in, involved in the in this uh, thing and they got addicted with difficulty parents were trained to put child lock facility using facilities it is not easy for us to uh, train them how to they are not even able to uh, know how to on and off the mobile phone then how will um, we um, gave them sensitize them to use child lock like that so we gave different um, training and campaign directly one to one training to to uh, um, to help them to use how to use and how to control the mobile phone teaching parents a child lock system and phone was uh, uh, use was laborious facilitators of provided assistance through special classes and chances for child labor we know there are many children in the hamlet who pull the trigger while on online classes and collect the earned living the financial crisis caused by covid uh, pressure led them children to work and ntfp to collect this is also seriously affected their education these all about the education and one more thing is livelihood strategies of covid 19 covid destroyed the tribal livelihood and its strategies other tribes suffered great economic hardship dr and can no you hear me time in this forum for a, a i know uh, a forum uh, for a comprehensive uh, analysis let's talk about a model urvashi shabam upakaram ennu parayunnathu poleulla let's let, let me talk about a particular model the tribal belt located in mundari is a tribal belt located in nilambur valley home of number of tribes that uh, lag far behind their other tribal belt um, socially economically backward tribes are with a population of 14496 they are account for 3.40 of the tribal total population but they are diverse tribes particularly vulnerable tribes chola naiken kaata naiken padinaiken and uh, um, most backward tribes like aranadan kaatpaniya kurnipaniya and uh, um, some other communities like malamuttan uh, malapanikar 
the most vulnerable tribes are completely depending on gathering mm, their livelihood collecting honey wild tubers leaves mushrooms incense and wild spices and selling them baskets are also known to made of bamboo and other grass materials the members of paniya community know how to do pile work and carpentry other livelihoods are uh, uh, other livelihoods were um, wage laborers <clears throat> the why um, it is uh, um, to exploit the situation the people uh, were the mainstream debtors uh, who bought the real western goods while a uh, forest ani for 4000 uh, rupees and sell in market with a retail price of 2000 uh, uh, rupees the mainstream neighborhood repeated the same thing horticop government agencies and tried to get the ani for uh, 300 so this uh, society we started a society which we, which collected the honey it's a um, uh, it's um, it's a women uh, uh, women kind of uh, initiative and 1000 kg honey collected and uh, uh, which was used uh, which was sold directly through the online market even they used amazon um amazon um and may snap deal many other uh, online um, online system and uh, they uh, sell uh, they they got a chance to um, sell 1000 kg ani and um, and they got uh, uh, the complete profit without any intermediary and um, the only problem is uh, about the collect, um Mm, the initial collection of money and now uh, they got uh, help from government many other societies and uh, mm, and and even from the ministry of tribal affairs ministry of tribal affairs just gave them a 50 lakh uh, rupees project to uh, continue the covid kind of uh, livelihood strategies and uh, it became a uh, wonderful model and it's time to uh, stop uh, thank you sir